And welcome everybody to Apocalypse Otaku. Welcome. Hello everybody. It is your girls Otaku Girl and Shar. And Yo. as you can probably tell, we have our opener back. Our lovely opener that, you know, had some issues. But we have it back on, so yay. We missed it. Yeah, we all missed it. I know I did. <laughs> Oops. It's fun hearing my own voice. That's fun. <laughs> That's always fun, hearing your own voice. Just munching and everything else. But either way, we have our opener back. And we, as you can tell by our illustrious backgrounds that are probably behind us, or as you can see on your screen, these are two animes that will be contested in our battle royale for basically heading into this week. You got me on the wrong week. side. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've always been on that side. But whatever. You already know I'm covering Samurai 7 and then Char is covering Basculus. So, even though we're on the wrong side, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is our Battle Royale stage that is set in with Luffy in the middle. <laughs> That's pretty funny, though. Luffy's in the middle of everything. <laughs> but either way, we have... Anime related news, manga related news, and also regarding the future of Spider Man as it is. We could be losing probably one of the best Spider Mans that Marvel has produced. Well, They're selling, making basically. a big mistake with this one because, mm -hmm. from what I understand, I was watching a live stream last night and. Sony's going to be losing a lot of money because their stock has already taken a dip. That it is. Uh, a lot of people have said, you know what? I'm not buying any Sony uh, movies. I'm not going to any Sony movies. So, unless you guys have a change of heart, you all are going to just lose a lot of money. Sorry, Sony. I have to decide with MCU on this one. Mm -hmm, You're mm -hmm. gonna have to bite the bullet. In my opinion, you are gonna have to bite the bullet and just, you know, go with it. You're gonna have to go back to the MCU. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if you don't, you'll lose a lot of money. And that's a lot of change to lose. Oh, yeah. A lot of change. So why don't we read what some of the critics have wrote about this Spider-Man possibly basically not being with Marvel anymore. Shar has that up for us already. So we're going to read away on what the critics are speculating about Tom Holland possibly being removed as Spider-Man no longer existing uh, in the not, MCU. He's not removed. I I predict that Tom Holland is going to remove himself from the Spider-Man role. Um, I hope not. My prediction is that if Sony does not follow suit and go back to the MCU... Tom Holland is going to remove himself from the Spider-Man role and go back and work for the MCU. Mm -hmm. Just as a different character. Yeah. That's my prediction because he's already said in an interview, he's not going to give up his MCU ticket. Nope. Uh, it's all over Twitter. Uh, it's probably on YouTube. It's an actual quote. He is not giving up his MCU ticket. Um, from what I understand, this all comes from um, you know, a, a producer credit. And also, Disney wanted a little bit more money. Which is understandable, because not only did they have one of their best producers on their movies, they got them a 
billion dollars on the last Spider-Man movie. Mm-hmm. Spider-Man Far From Home. Great movie. So, it's understandable that they would want, you know, 50-50. Not a big thing. If you think about it, in the long run, it's not a big thing. Mm-mm. Just cough up the dough. No one likes Penny Pincher except for Mr. Krabs, who's on SpongeBob. So, uh. um, it, in my opinion, I know when it comes down to it, y'all want money. But unless you want Disney to buy you guys out, which <laughs> would probably do you a world of good. Uh-huh. Um, and Kevin Feige would have control over all of Mar all of Marvel, not just you know everybody but Spider Man universe. Mm -hmm. Which you know I I know they really want that, but they're willing to work with you guys, which they have been. A little bit more money is not that big of a deal. It's not. Uh, plus Stan Lee's daughter uh, gave her two cents about it. Uh, she had a quote here that said, No one could mm -hmm. have treated my father worse. Mm. Man. I mean, th this is the memory of Stan Lee that you guys are doing. That you guys are ripping apart mm -hmm. come together work together and stop um basically stop acting like children mm -hmm. trying to think was wasn't spider-man one of the first comics that stan lee released or was that or were that other? was one of the first comics that he released man if you guys are really dogging over Stan Lee's, one of his first creations ever, just because you guys don't want to cough up the money? Man, talk about... You're it, plus, man! You guys can't even make a decent Spider-Man movie to save your own lives. We're not even going to bring up the fact that Andrew Garfield just stunk as Spider-Man. He did a good job, but he the way... He did. Well, too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said I wasn't going to bring it up, but I brought it up anyway. But Andrew Garfield, he did good, but the way you guys portrayed Spider-Man with him it did not work. Good. It didn't work. Andrew Garfield did his best. You guys just had to smooze it up. This is how it works. Tom Holland is the, is the, the best Spider-Man you guys have ever had. Since Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire is a second. Mm-hmm. Andrew Garfield, Andrew Garfield is third. Andrew Garfield is a very distant third. Mm -hmm. I mean, very, he's, very distant. He's definitely an afterthought he's like now. He's on the other side of the United States. More distant. Like, no, no, he's like um, the other side of the moon. That That's where Andrew Garfield... The dark Garfield, side of the moon? Yes, the dark okay. side of the moon is where <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Garfield is. But again, Tobey Maguire set the standard for Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield kind of just squashed that, but Tom Holland revised Spider-Man and gave him life. So, well, I think again. they gave him. I'm not saying Andrew Garfield as a uh, actor is not good. We love Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield as an actor is a very good actor. It just depends on the script. And a producer, and a director, and everything else. <sighs> Andrew Garfield, just, yeah, he he did. Like I said, Disney, help. Sony, get your crud together. Well, mostly Sony. Sony mostly, because mm -hmm. we know that you put out the leak. You need to get your stuff together mm -hmm. get your and go crawling back to Disney because you need them. Get your sushi together <laughs> and go back to Disney and beg forgiveness. 
Because without them, you are not going to have a decent Spider-Man. You're not going to have any decent movies because nobody's going to go see them. Mm-mm. Nobody's going to buy them. Sure, they'll watch it, but then they'll just rave on no, how bad it is. No, they're not going to watch it. They've already said they're not going to go see them. Wow. But again, a lot of people do go to the movies. Even though some people will boycott, but not really. I don't know. I won't see it. Oh, no. It's all over. All over the internet. Mm. All, I mean, all over the internet. Boycott Spider. <laughs> Boycott Sony. I mean, I could probably bring it up right now. Now, okay. Didn't Sony put out that uh, Spider Man into the Spideyverse? Wasn't that kind of successful? Yes, they did put out the cartoon version and that got a uh, an Oscar. Yeah, it got an Oscar. But I, I don't remember what it got. Yeah, I don't know. Here, I'll look it up, what they got the Oscar for. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember what they got the Oscar for. Okay, let's see. <sighs> okay. Spider-Man Into the Spideyverse won this year's Oscars for the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature Film. <laughs> I love that video. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're showing a video on Twitter. <laughs> They're showing all these that people. That a bunch of Spider-Man fans <laughs> dressed in spider different Spider-Man costumes <laughs> are on that. their way to storm the Sony Studios to save I, Tom Holland. I love that! <laughs> oh my gosh, I oh, love it! And they're now laying on the floor. I've seen that video before. It's basically a con. It's basically all of these Spider-Mans coming together and just doing a weird Spider-Man dance throughout the entire oh convention God. hall. And all the Spider-Man end up tagging along in a weird conga line. And then they end up falling flat on their faces. And I'm being like, this is hilarious. I want to be a part of this weird Spider-Man conga line. Um, I love that. I love and that. another thing, if you think about it, if you if they take spider uh, spider-man out of the mcu the last five movies that the mcu has done for sony for sony they'll be buried forever you have to forget them never happened they'll have to get uh the infinity gauntlet back and just <laughs> Snap them away forever they out of existence. Never ever happened. It was all an illusion. I mean, um, the MCU has power over the rights of Spider-Man for TV, but not for movie. Weird. Well, not really weird, but you know, whatever. And plus, um, if you think about it. Mm-hmm. Sony, you can't have Happy. Uh-uh. Happy is part of the MCU. Sorry. Sorry about your luck. Uh, along with Pepper. Can't have her either. So in other words, you guys this are sending past ducks. movie. Yeah, you guys Never are, happened. You guys are sitting ducks, man. Uh, let me see. Let, let's find out what's trending. On Twitter. It should be us. Hashtag Apocalypse Otaku. We should be trending on Twitter. Yes, we should. I wish we are, but, you know. Oh, uh, let's see. We're building up our following. <laughs> Let 
Let's see what what is trending so far. There's uh, actually a relevant worldwide trends. Let's see. Let me find out. Let me find out. I find out something else. Spider Man trending. Of course, we know Spider Man's trending. Spider Man is awesome. Spider Man is uh, is trending more than the Amazon. Bro. Oh yeah! More are yeah. people are more worried about a Marvel character. I did hear about that that the Amazon rainforest in Brazil is burning right now, as we speak. What? Mm hmm. Rainforest is burning. Okay, who threw a lit cigarette out of an airplane? It's legit burning. If you don't believe me, look it up. It's right here. Yep. It's a burning. <sighs> oh, boy. Anyway. Uh, another hashtag is Save Spidey. Mm -hmm. uh, another hashtag is Spider Man. Uh, there we go. Boycott Sony. Hashtag boycott Sony. You fools. Why is boycott Sony trending? <laughs> this is Disney's greedy. Uh, greedy fault. Still, boycott Sony. Uh, dough. Because you should not report stuff, Spider-Man. Y'all need to learn how to type. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, <laughs> here we go. How are you feeling? What's your mood? Hashtag trending. Hashtag Spidey. Hashtag Spider-Man. Hashtag Spider-Man from the MCU. Hashtag save Spidey. Hashtag MIA3. Hashtag P... Whatever that is. <laughs> um, okay, so... Is that Chris Kardashian with a gun in her hand? Yes, that is. And that's a GIF, y'all. That is on Twitter. That's scary. The question uh, is, does she... Out that, uh, that, uh, yeah. And the, above it says, me finding out the reason why Spider-Man and Tom Holland are trending. Oh, God. They cannot... Be. Leave poor Tom Holland alone! Tom Holland is not to blame for this, y'all. Leave that... He's just a pawn in the game. Leave that handsome man out of this! Can you believe he's older than he looks? Yeah, I know he is. I didn't know until I saw something else, but either way. Yeah, I, I think he's like 20. Info! <laughs> I'm looking it up now. She's looking it up, y'all. Because it's fun. <laughs> uh, you... Number one Spider -Man, Spidey fan. Hashtag Spidey Tales. Hashtag Symbiote Tales. The man's Spider -Man 23. The community needs some positivity. Like, really needs some things... Good to have something, not some things, something good to happen. Let's get this trending or at least moderately, moderately popular, even. Hmm. Well, he spelled something Hashtag right. Hashtag Spider-Man. So for all of you people who do not know how old Tom Holland is, he is 23. He was born in the 90s. <laughs> June 1st, 1996. Is when he was born. He was born in the United Kingdom. Why are all the good-looking guys always from the UK? <laughs> it's not a bad thing, but still, all the good-looking dudes are from it. Are from the United Kingdom? Holy cow! But either way, Tom Holland, you are one gorgeous man. <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> well. This is, uh, that's a response to when you see hashtag Matrix, a hashtag Spider-Man trending. What year? Uh, 
a, a gif from Jumanji, the original, the original Jumanji, Jumanji with Robin Williams. Williams, the late great Robin Williams. I actually watched a compilation of all of his interviews and all of his appearances on talk shows. Gosh, he was hilarious. I oh yeah, <laughs> you have to watch his. Uh, I've seen it on stand up comedy. I was. Funny. I've seen little snippets of him on Whose Line Is It Anyway, like the original season of Whose Line Is It Anyway. Oh, my God. He was dangerous. He was hilarious. Okay. So, comicbook.com. This is an actual site, y'all. Boycott Sony is now trending worldwide after fractured hashtag Spider-Man deal news. Wow. So... Me personally, I would much rather keep Spider Man and Tom Holland in the MCU. Sony, if you want to do your own Spider Man movie, go get your own Spider Man. Mm hmm. Because if I remember correctly, I think Tom Holland was hired by the MCU just for Spider Man. Plus, he made his appearance in. Um Captain America Civil War anyway. So. Yeah. That was the first MCU movie. The rest of them were MCU. Uh, no, all of them were done by the MCU. Even uh, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home. All of them were MCU movies. Even including the original three Spider-Men that were with Tobey Maguire. Those were originally part of the MCU as well. So, Sony, if you want you guys better Spider-Man, <laughs> Tom, Tom Holland is not your guy. You guys better find a really good... A well, there are a plenty really of good, good actors, actor. but you guys better find... A person that can actually write a good Spider-Man script right. Yes. Because if not, no one's going to pay to see this movie. <laughs> and you would waste millions of dollars filming it. So, if you guys don't find someone that can actually write a good Spider-Man script, you guys are sitting ducks, man. And it's not going to be pretty for any of those people that work their tails off to get that movie Made. That's all I gotta say about that. Anything else trending on Twitter right now? Uh, I just saw something on my phone that just flickered for a second. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh! Wow. Disney planning to kill off Spider-Man if Sony doesn't play ball. What?! We can't kill Spider-Man. You already lost Iron Man. We can't lose Spider-Man. Sony, you better get your crud together. If we lose Spider-Man, there are going to be tons of people mad at you. Including me. Well, we lost... Oh, this is oh. good. What? Okay, <laughs> what does it say? The five stages of Spider-Man grief. Denial. <laughs> this is fake news, right? <laughs> Anger. I hate you, 3000. <laughs> Bargaining. Hashtag save Spidey. It's trending. Hashtag save Spidey is trending. There's still hope, right? Depression. Two franchises ruined. Poor Tom. Aww. No FF crossover. Acceptance. Heck no! <laughs> at, at, at Disney, at Marvel Studios, at Sony. <laughs> Fix this now! <laughs> did it really say heck no or did it say H E double hockey stick? It said H E double hockey stick. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I said heck no. Yeah, I, I feel that I'm definitely. To that guy who actually put that there, yes, that is every Spider-Man fan on this planet. Feels the exact same way. I gotta find that. Oh, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? 
Oh, there it is. Okay, you found it. <laughs> Oops. I have to log in. She'll okay. do that later. <laughs> well, at least you kind of know the guy's name. Let's keep trending. Hashtag save Spider-Man. At, at Sony, Sony Pictures. Eh, couldn't we just let Marvel have the rights to Spider-Man, even though they already have those rights? The, uh, no, unfortunately, Disney has to buy it. Ah, baloney. But, hey, Disney's but got, they, you know. But there's, if if they do buy it, then they could fix something else that's Sony has. Mm -hmm. That has to do with anime. Oh, we got someone that commented. Uh, Amy Chuby has the apocalypse come. Maybe. With the Spider-Man news, it just might. <sighs> and again, thank you, Amy, for coming on here and commenting on our show. Thank you so much. Either way, yeah, it could possibly happen if Sony doesn't get their, uh, you know, mushrooms together. So, yeah. So... That's all I have to say about Spider-Man for right now. <laughs> um, if you guys have anything you want to say... Please comment. Please comment in our chat. And also, if you guys can't comment in this chat, we will also be posting this video later on our YouTube page titled of the same name. So, yep, that will be a factor later. So... Yes, yeah, Sony has... Uh, anime franchise. It's called Funimation. What is it? Sony has an anime Protech? Which one? Anime Pro... I think they meant project, but yeah, project it's not a project. It's, well, if you want to call it that, it is a project. <laughs> it's a project? <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a franchise. It's called it's Funimation. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've actually seen on some of Funimation's um, animes, they actually had Universal on, s on some of their opening sequences to animes. And I've noticed, I think, like, wait, some of these yeah. were titled by Universal? What? Uh, the, uh, I, think it was Dr I think it was Drifters that I was watching. It had Universal on there. I can't remember what other one had it. What else did you put? Um... With the whole Baluma slash Broly uh, controversy, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. You got it. And if you follow um, any of the stuff that we commented on uh, on uh, VM with his uh, if false you allegation. Know, well, if you want to know everything that's going on with the whole Vic controversy... Um, Hiro Hei on YouTube covers all of that. that uh, right? Also, if you want to know the legal aspects, go to uh, Nick Ricada. Uh, Which side are you Ricada on? Ricada Law. Baluma or Broly? Broly. Ooh. We're not allowed to say. Well, I already said it. <laughs> I said my piece. Um... I, yeah, we're not allowed. We're not allowed to comment on that because we have to remain unbiased. Uh, uh, no, unbiased. Nah, yeah, but I already said it, so whatever. <laughs> nah. <laughs> 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 okay, glad to know. But I cannot side. You, know, you can tell. She said she couldn't side with um, Baluma, so we enjoy your honesty, Amy Chuby. I I can't. She wants to say, but can't. Here, I'm not. If that says anything. <laughs> if you recognize that. Alrighty. So after we just covered all of that and everything else, so manga readings are next. 
That's where we're going to next. <laughs> yes. We're growing from Marvel to manga. Double M. <laughs> yes. Yes. Double M. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Do you guys talk about anime? I'm new here. Yes, we do. We talk about anime every Thursday from 3 to 5. That's Except what we for do. next week because they're doing a Mario Kart contest. Yeah. We'll be a bit on the, you know. Yep, we're borrowing the studio until I get my own. Yeah. Hold up a minute. I have to wheel off screen for a second. Or hop off. <laughs> <laughs> I disappeared for a minute. She's still here. Hello. <laughs> the way I poked in. Okay. Alrighty. Back to the fun part. As I throw away my garbage. <laughs> So as we said, we are going from Marvel to manga in one swoop. Uh, yes, we do always talk about anime mm -hmm. and anime-related news. Yep. We post all of our shows on our YouTube channel. So if you weren't able to actually catch the stream here, then, you know, let's see. I got a one on a sketch. I'm going to go out on a stretch and say... One likes Samurai 7, and the other one likes Basculus. We like both. I, I like both. <laughs> we like both. The thing it's is... It's just we're doing uh, Battle Royale, and it's Samurai 7 against Basilisk. We've done... We love all animes, regardless of how old they are. <laughs> I, I can't say that. <laughs> I have not watched Naruto. I have. I have not watched One Piece. I, I'm currently watching it right now. <laughs> One Piece literally came out maybe a year after I was, like, alive, though. So. <laughs> um, the Piece way is this old. is working in, is that she is uh, choosing the, one, the uh, uh, Samurai 7 fighters. And I have chosen the um, the basculus side, basilisk fighters. Yeah, that's which why wasn't that easy. Which wasn't it was that hard. hard for me. It wasn't hard for me. It was hard, <laughs> but you know we we she got had it to put all a pawn in. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I had to do that. But either way, this is part of our battle royale. So I decided to. Put up some fun images of the current animes that will be going to war with each other. <laughs> so we'll be doing that just a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But right now we're going on to manga readings. Which is going to be a little bit fun. Yeah, for you. <laughs> and torture you. for her. <laughs> yeah. Because she's, because she's going to butcher the names. I'm trying my manga. best. Okay. I'm trying my best, man. <laughs> but either way, so we are going to start off with Tuesday's manga releases. These were all U.S. releases in the U.S. that happened literally two days ago. So it's the long list of all the anime ti uh, manga titles. Why they say anime? See? She <laughs> yeah, anime, manga, manga, all the same. All anime. the same. You got them on there. Yeah, no, I got them on there. All right. <laughs> Let's take it from the top for the 20th. So we have A Bride Story, Volume 11, A Certain Scientific Railgun, Volume 14, Bakino, Volume 11, which is a light novel, um, Chiho's School Road, Volume 5, Combatants Will Be Dispatched. Volume 1, and that is also a light novel. Let's see. Um, Dimension W, Volume 15. Do you Which love... Which is a good <laughs> show to watch. Now, this show, I have, I have seen little snippets of it, but I just haven't had a chance to watch it. Do you love your mom and her two-hit multi-strike attacks? Volume 1. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a real mouthful right there. Okay, Final Fantasy Lost Strangers Volume 3, Happy Sugar Life Volume 2, Hataharu Volume 8. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? The Depends. <laughs> okay, Familia Chronicles Episode <laughs> Louvre Volume 4. 
<laughs> oh, the... <laughs> yes, that one. <laughs> yep, that mom. <laughs> so that was a manga and... Also, let's see. Is it wrong to try to pick up Girls in the Dungeon Volume 14, which is a of light novel? It is. For you. Other dudes may think it's cool. We don't know. We're not that much weebs yet. We kind of are, but, you know. <laughs> um, okay. You don't get it. You don't get it. <laughs> and I can't say it. Oh, wait, no. Now I get it. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> okay. Whips, chains. Yeah. Yeah. Dom and Dumb of something. I don't uh, know. Uh, I can't say dominatrix. it. Dominatrix. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> that type of weird stuff. Okay. Uh, back to this. I've been killing... Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, Lord. I, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even seen that movie. I don't... Th the books are so much better. You have to read the books. Do you like the Atsuke setting? I have yet to see this anime. I will let you know... Not next week, but the week after about that uh, Amy she Chuby. She has so many shows on her list to watch. I do, and I don't get around to them because I work. Or I just binge watch the same series over and over again. That's how I am. I'm that type of weeb. Right now, I, you're watching Samurai 7? Yep. Because I, I told her, you know. I had to do my homework. She's got to do her homework, <laughs> watch Samurai 7, see how they fight. And you know. also Basilisk too. I have to watch that and Samurai 7. So That's I know what, what I'm, I'm doing. I'm watching Basilisk right now. We're both uh, watching the anime that we're working on. And they are such good fighters. I, I, honestly, I have to say that they're better than the Samurai <laughs> 7. Um, what oh. episode are you on so far right now? Huh? What episode are you on right now so far? Oh my gosh. Uh, you lost track, didn't you? I'm on the third DVD. Oh. I'm at halfway through it. Oh, so you're almost done. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next one is I've been killing slimes for 300 years and maxed out my level volume five. Kanugiri's Twins volume three. Kingdom Hearts Recoded. That is a light novel. Kanasuba. God's Blessing on This Wonderful World, Volume 9, which is a light novel and manga. Okay. Mrs. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Elmay's Office Lady Diaries, Volume 2. Um, let's see. Mokuyu. Yeah, Mokuku Tenzai, Jobless Reincarnation, Volume 9. Overlord a la carte, Volume 1. Phantom Tales of the Night, Volume 1. Plunderer, Volume 2. Plus Size Elf, Volume 3. Plus Re Size Elf, wait a minute. They're, they're making fun of somebody who's overweight. Apparently, they make fun of Plus Size Elves. Do you like Kanasuba? Um, I don't think I've even seen that. I don't read manga. Do I, Char, do you even read manga? Because I know I don't. I used to read manga. The last one I actually read through was... I hate to say this. Say it! <laughs> say it! It was sensual phrase. <sighs> okay, let's see. We'll probably get uh, demonetized for that, but... That's let's see. the name of the manga. It's called Sensual Phrase. Hmm. It's uh, very good. She said, Konosuba has two anime seasons. It's a great comedy. Hmm. We'll have to we'll have to find that. We'll have to find that and watch that. I have, have to see. Um, let's see. Where did I leave off? Um, Plus Size Elf Volume Three, Re Zero, Starting Life in Another World, Chapter Three, Truth of Zero, Volume Eight, Reborn as a Polar Bear, Volume One. <laughs> Man, talk about when you die and then you re get reincarnated as a fluffy bear of death. <laughs> Basically, that's kind you of know. what a polar bear is. <laughs> a fluffy bear of death. You know the fur on the polar bear? Isn't it black? No. Re wait, it's no. It's clear. Oh. The reflection from the snow makes them white. 
Wow. That's new. Okay. Now I'm ready. Uh, bear. And that's your... <laughs> Nature random, fact of the day. <laughs> that's your random... Pl- <laughs> that's your random uh, fact for the day. Yep. <laughs> random fact of the day. <laughs> Brought to you by Shar. Okay. Reborn as a polar bear. Uh, Shibuya Goldfish Volume 5. Silver Spoon Volume 10. Smoking, Par- Smoking Parade Volume 6. Sorry for my familiar. Volume 5. Spirits and Cat Ears, Volume 8. Sword Art Online, Hollow Realization, Volume 4. Tales of Wedding Rings, Volume 7. That time I got reincarnated as a slime, Volume 6, which is a light novel, as well as a manga. The Art of Sword Ontaria. The Devil is a Part-Timer, Volume 14, which is also a light novel and a manga. The Genius Prince's Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt. And, hey, how about treason? Volume 1. The Royal Tutor, Volume 12. The Surviving Alchemist with a Dream of a Quiet Town Life, Volume 1. The War and the World slash Raises the World, Volume 1, which is a light novel. Trinity 7, Volume 17. Val X Love, Volume 6. Wonderland, Volume 3. And Yabamushi Petal, Volume 12. So that was all for the 20th, which was two days ago. So then we have one manga release from yesterday. All right, so let's see what we have for yesterday. Dangaromba, another episode, Ultra Despair Girls, Volume 1. So that was released yesterday. And then for next Tuesday, which Shar and myself will be going back to Level 1 Game Bar to play more anime trivia. <laughs> so if you guys catch us there, we'll be there. Say hi. Yeah. Say hi to your lovely girl. No. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. So we have some for next Tuesday. A couple of titles that will be released on Tuesday. So Black Canvas, My Soul Card Artist's Journey. Volume 2, Bloom Into You, Volume 7. We're not even going to touch that. No, mm -mm, mm-mm, 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 no, mm mm-mm. Okay, yeah. (laughs) Division Maneuver, Volume 2, which is a light novel. How to Build a Dungeon, Book of the Demon King, Volume 5. Oh, man, I can't. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, Re-Monster Volume 4. And the last one that will be released for next Tuesday, The Girl from the Outside. So, Lee, A Rain Volume 7. So, those are all of your manga releases for basically the end of August. Wow, we are... Heading towards fall territory, where here in Ohio, we We hate pumpkin spice everything. Almost. The kids are going back to school. But the leaves aren't on the ground. But it's still fall. It's still hot. It's fall. (laughs) Okay. All right. You got me. All right. Not technically, but it's still fall. Anyway. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give you your tsunami schedule for this coming Saturday, August the 24th. I would give you next week's schedule, but I don't believe they have it up yet. They don't yet? I don't believe they do. No, they won't let me go that far. Okay, so they just have this coming Saturday schedule. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as far as, you know, every, you know, if you guys need to look at your tsunami schedule for next week, um, go ahead, because they have moved some of the shows around, and they finally heard us about those shows. They did? Yes. Did they get rid of them? Uh, hang on. At 8 o'clock. Dragon Ball Z Kai. You guys don't make any noise? 
Eh. Well, I threw my bag in the trash, so that was a sound. <laughs> 8.30. Oh, no. Oh, great. Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulty. Literally, while we're on the air. <laughs> I know. But you know what? Stuff happens. It was a big fat foot. Don't blame your feet. <sighs> All okay. right. Sorry about that. We're back. Back online now. Uh, 8.30 is Dragon Ball Super. And at 9 p.m., they're on for an hour. They're awesome. And they travel through time. They're Rick and Morty. Woo! And at 10 o'clock, they're on for an hour. They're awesome. And Stewie never grows up. Family guy. Family guy. I don't think they'll ever let him grow up. At all. Yeah, the, the other forever. kids are teenagers still, too. True. Um, at 11 p.m. is Dragon Ball Super. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, 11.30 is Genlock. Alert. New show. Mm-hmm. At midnight, Dr. Stone. Oh my gosh, I love that series. 12.30 is Fire Force. Love that series too. And 1 a.m. is Food Wars. Love that. Still waiting for more. 1.30 is Black Clover. Still have to catch up on that. And 2 a.m. is Boruto. Yay. 2.30 is Naruto. Woo! So don't get too confused. Mm-mm. Uh, 3 a.m. for all you mech freaks out there. I know you're out there. She's included in the mech freak category. <laughs> uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, the origin, advent of the Red Comet. In other words, this is how Shar Aznavol came to be. And He's yes, that is his real name. Uh, from his side. Uh, do you want to answer her question? Um, she said, um, I would like to give an opinion. Basically, she was trying to say, um, I would like to give an opinion on your Battle Royale idea. Go right ahead, Amy Chuby. We are... All open for ideas, because whenever we put in idea, we kind of go in. So, here's what she said. Samurai 7 characters, power scaling, wise, are strong in general. But basculous characters are more vigilant. Versatile. Yeah, versatile on their skill. Yep. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> she, you're not wrong. <laughs> And I'm sorry if I butchered what you were saying because I can't read. Yeah, no, I dog it's my. Not, it's not that you can't read. It's just some words you're not. I don't with. know big words. Anyway, back <laughs> to what we were doing. Yeah, I correct myself up. Uh, three thirty. We have Lupin the Third Part Five. I imagine this is going to be the last of the Lupins. Because uh, there's not any more, so. I'm not saying this is the last of the series. I'm saying this is just going to be the last series of Lupins we'll see. Mm -hmm. At 4 a.m., because they're going into season four now. Ooh, yay. Yeah, they're going into season four. Uh, My Hero Academia. And at 4.30 is Super Jail. Super J? Oh, yeah, that wait. One, that one's not much better, but it's better than the other ones they had on. Mm-hmm. Uh, 445 is Apollo Gauntlet. Okay, I gotta do info on that one, because that just yeah, sounds yeah. weird. Go look it up. Just go and find out. Slow down on that one. What was it called? Apollo what? Apollo Gauntlet. All right, let's do... Hold up. Oh, Lord. Uh, not good? Mm, 
up. Mm -mm. And plus, this is old. This okay. So the first episode of this series was aired back in July 9th of 2017, and then the last episode was aired on August 13th of the same year. Apollo Gauntlet didn't even last that long. So in other words, it was aired on Adult Swim. Yepper. <sighs> Why? <laughs> You're ruining it. <laughs> Um, do not watch Super Jail or Apollo Gauntlet. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Aqua Teen Hunger Force is also on at 5 a.m. They are an original Adult Swim sh uh, show. Basically, milkshake, fries, and a meatball living together under one roof. Yeah. Yeah. Food. Living under an apartment with a fat no, neighbor. No. Well, they live in a house, and then they have a neighbor that really just doesn't give a crap about life. He's yeah. fat and overweight. Probably wears the same thing every day. And finally at 5.30, we have... Home Movies! Which is also another original Adult Swim, but that one's actually pretty good. I don't stay up that long to watch it, but I shall try. Anyway. <laughs> Occasionally, from time to time, we try different food. We, yeah, like she said, we try different foods. The last time we, she wanted to throw up. I almost did. <laughs> I'm glad I brought the trash can over here because it was nasty. Well, it this time I bought some of these. They're gummy candies. Okay, <laughs> so they should be that bad. <laughs> Uh, one is watermelon gummy candy, and the other one is lychee gummy candy. Okay, we'll, we'll try the lychee first. Yeah. The last time we tried food, they were like little machi, little, um, little bean thingies. Well, one was, uh... One was oh, sesame seed, and one was, um, red bean not paste. Wrapped, so. Oh, they're not wrapped? Alright, I got one. Uh, okay, well, just take a bite. Just one little bite. Oh, no! Don't stick the whole thing in your mouth! How is it? It's not that bad. Oh, it Lord. smells worse than what it actually is. Okay, if I puke, I blame you. <laughs> it's, uh... I can't remember what fruit it tastes like. Like a peach? Okay, it's really not that bad. The smell really tips it off. The smell it smells really bad. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to y'all. We're not these the, smell really bad. But, but when you eat you them, they, them they they taste good. They taste good. And plus they're gluten free. Ah, well good. <laughs> now these ones. These ones are, glu are gluten free too. Now we're trying the watermelon one. I like watermelon. And they're probably not wrapped either, so. Do they smell better than the other ones? <laughs> oh, it smells like a nail salon. <laughs> oh, oh, man. No. Wait a minute. Smell it again. <laughs> It does smell like a nail salon. <laughs> oh, that smell. It tastes like a watermelon. Why do they smell bad, but taste good? Because they probably put actual juice in, in it. These. Oh. I'll have to look. If you can read it. Syrup, sugar, sorbitol, gelatin. 
natural and artificial flavor, pectin, citric acid. In other words, it's flat up jelly. A drop of watermelon juice. Wow. The rest of it is just factory gonk. The rest of it is just factory gonk mixed in it. Oh boy. Hey. I'm the garbage lady. <laughs> because I'm well, you got the garbage can over there. Yeah, I'm near the trash. All right, so we tried those. <laughs> so we approved those. Uh, Just don't smell them. Don't smell them. Just eat them. If you just pop them in your mouth and eat them, you're fine. Yeah, just yeah. Don't whatever you do. If do you're one not of those people that you have smells to smell before them, you eat, you're don't. Fine. Yeah, you're boned. Or just plug your nose. Let's see. Are you okay with reacting to YouTube videos? Hmm. Well, that's one thing we uh, never tried depends before. Depends on the YouTube video. Yeah, definitely does depend, but I'm all game for it. I'm so game for it. Yeah, it, it depends on the YouTube video. Um. Because I always wanted to do a React video anyway. Um, she said, anime YouTube videos. Now, the thing is... Um, we can probably watch it and listen to it we through headphones, but we would have we can't to record ourselves watching it. Not unless you know we can probably. No, they told us it would be incredibly boring. True to watch for people to watch us. Not really. We're not boring. Is, We're not boring. It depends, like, it depends on the you know the video. Um. She said it sounds cool to her. Because, um... True, it does. There's some videos that I have that she has not watched. Or, can you know, do like a... Like, I've seen some uh, videos that are like... Try not to sing or try not to laugh with it, certain anime scenarios or anime music. Um, you know, because certain anime theme songs are so darn catchy and you can't help but sing along. If you sing, you lose. Like a uh, cowboy bebop. Yeah, you you would probably well that opening, but album. that op but that opening line three two one let's jam. You can't help but you know sing along to it and go like din it din it din it din it din it din it. See, I would I love to see that. CDs at home. I'm sorry <laughs> for cowboy bebop. I have all the CDs. She's a huge fan of cowboy bebop. Let's just say this is just an anime intro. Just. This is just an anime intro, just to know your opinion. Maybe you will like it. Huh. Well, hmm. We will see. Yeah, I've, I've seen, I've seen um, anime intro videos where it says, um, if you sing, you lose. So basically they play like all like the catchy in like really good anime themes and then you ha you can't sing at all because if you do then you lose i've survived i wanted to sing along so bad to some of them but i i, I think like nope <laughs> i can't sing it no matter how much i want to do it i can't sing it <laughs> okay she's saying here you go <laughs> Yeah, I definitely can't. I I probably crack, but I who knows? My with me. I don't either. Crap. Oh well. Um, Amy, we'll listen to it at, uh, after we're off the air. And just we don't have any headphones with us. Yeah, just put it in the message, and then we'll listen to it. Because I did not bring my headphones with me. So, sure thing, no problem. Oh, Amy, you're an angel. We love you. <laughs> but either way, okay, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go on to the Blu ray <laughs> releases for this week and next week. Yay. So sadly, we're not going to be here. Oh man, I gotta read my mangas for next week. Wait, you no, did. I already got them all. Never mind. You did. I know, I did. I just thought of that now. <laughs> okay. Cells at World. 
Blu-ray. Is that what it says? That's what it says. Wow. This is for August 27th, by the way. <laughs> That's crazy. Let me see here. Danganronpa 3 The End of Hope's Peak High School Despair Arc Blu-ray Essentials They have that twice Is it the same DVD or Oh no uh the other one is Future Arc. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, and then you have Danganronpa Animated Series Season mm. 1 Blu-ray. Ooh. Devil's Line Premium Edition Blu-ray Box Set. Mm. And then you mm. have Devil's Line Blu-ray. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kimigur, mm -hmm. Kimigur. I forget how to pronounce it. Kimigure. Or something like that. Kimigiri? Kimigiri. Orange Road. OVAs. Plus movie. Blu-ray. Ooh. Movie. Uh, Lupin the Third. Blood Seal of the Eternal Mermaid. DVD. Man, they made mermaids sound dark. Cutie Honey OVA Series. DVD. And this one is the show I was telling you about last week, Sorcerer Hunters. Is it about the? I have that one at home. Isn't that the guy that ended up getting swirled in a toilet? No. No. Uh, this is one of the ones I was going oh! about. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Sorcerer Hunters. I have the entire series at home. So no need to worry about that. No, not yet, at least. And then on September third. These are going to be your releases. Ace Attorney Season 2 Part 1 DVD Blu-ray Combo Set. Does anybody really watch that show? Besides Nick Ricada? Mm -hmm. I've heard of it, just never watched it. I mean, I, I'm sure there are some people who do watch it. It's just... We just don't know who. Ugh. Well, we don't know anybody that does. Uh, here's another old one that, well, I've never seen it, but I've heard about it. Gravitation Complete Collection Blu-ray. Never heard of it. Never seen it. Interviews with Monster Girls Complete Series Blu-ray. Heard about it. Heard about that one. Never saw it. Kagurio Bed and Breakfast for Spirits. Season one, part two. <gasps> I've seen that. I've seen that series. That is so good. I love that series. I'm mad My because it ended. Hero Academia, season three, part two, Blu-ray, DVD. And Blu-ray combo set. Ooh. And My Hero Academia Season 4 will be coming up in two months. I'm so pumped. So what are they going to be showing on Toonami? Reruns? Mm, I don't know about that. If we're caught up with you, then we might get ahead of you. Well, I'm way past. The, I'm already past Season 3 already. So. We're... we're up. Oh, you're caught up now? Yeah, we're waiting on season four. Okay, then either you'll be ahead or I'll be ahead. Either way, we'll both be caught up somehow with season four. <laughs> the Tatayami Galaxy Blu-ray DVD uh, combo set. This art club has a problem. Complete collection Blu-ray. Yu huh. Yu Hakusho, Season 1, Steelbook, Blu-ray, Box Set, Episodes 1 through 28. That might be worth the buy there. Mm. Oh, here's another good show. Wolf's Rain, Complete Collection, Blu-ray, Classics. I've heard about that, and I want to see it. I just haven't got around to it. Johnny Bosch plays the main character. Johnny Bosch. 
she's a wolf. Who was originally a Power Ranger. Yeah, Johnny Bosch was a Power Ranger. I know he was a Power Ranger. I'm just saying that for the people that don't know that. But I'm pretty sure everybody was around during the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers era. If not, then now you know. <laughs> oh. Now that we've gone through all that, <laughs> it's time to do this. New bracket for Battle Royale! I gotta bring up my, uh... Why not just use the markers that are right here? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I gotta bring up my brackets, too, while we're doing that. Enjoy us talking about nonsense. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh... There's a movie? I had no idea. A movie of what? There's a movie. Oh wait, we already read about that. Um, you know the Samurai Seven movie. Yeah, it was based on a different movie. Yeah. Need to clean it off. <laughs> 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 we're trying. <laughs> yeah, we're we're. <laughs> yeah, we're trying not to break stuff, y'all, in here, cause then it won't be potty. It won't be pretty. I think when we get our own studio, we're gonna have to have a bigger whiteboard. Mm hmm. Like, what, that big? The one that's in front of me? Uh, well, about the, uh. Oh, oh that one. That, um. Oh, like that? Uh, okay. Yeah, they sell them like that, so. Who, what, when, where, and why do I define? I don't know why that came in my head, but whatever. You gotta make it, it clean. You gotta make it fancy. So, well, I don't have to make it fancy. I just gotta get all the marker off. No, I'm talking about like the top part. So let's see. Here. I'm gonna use one of these. So let's see. We'll put the orange one for Samurai Seven, and then Basculus can be this fancy schmancy purple marker. Alright, then Basculus in that fancy color. Give me another one. Why? Did that not work? Then what other one do you want? <laughs> the blue one. Sorry, uh, <laughs> artist difficulties. Whoever controls the board controls the artwork. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's just I wanted to put a different color for Mercy. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, you should have told me that. I did not know. Basketist. Okay, before we begin, so 
I'm on fandom. So there was a poll conducted saying, who's your famous samurai? <laughs> Kuro <laughs> has the most votes, which is insane. But, Ka um, Kazio. Kazio. He has the most votes. With Kuzo? Yeah, Kuzo. Mm hmm That's what Amy QB pointed out to us. So. Alright. Give me your list. Alright. So we gotta match up at least with some sort of skill. Okay, so. We're gonna go with the guy that we just mentioned a couple minutes ago. Kuzo? Yep. K Y U, the O. K Y U, the O. Yep. Then let's see. Hmm. Sorry, I just stuck the Y in there. I, I didn't. <laughs> it's it's cool. It's cool. Um, who's, who's he going up against? I'm gonna go to go by this poll right here. So we're gonna go. Um, hey Hachi. Because yeah, he I had. H E I H A C H I. If I remember right, I think that's the one that cut wood. Yep, this guy right here. Yeah, that was played by Greg Ayers. He's a ginger. Alright, next one. Alrighty. Um, let's see. So that was 200. All right. Kikoku oh. Choji. I'm trying to say the names the best I can. Um, Kiku Chiyo. Uh. This dude. Oh. Kiku Chiyo. I believe he's a robot. Yeah, he's. Kikujo. Yeah, Kikujo. He's a cyborg. <laughs> uh, go back. I need to spell it. Here, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. K I K U C H I Y O. Got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we both have glasses and yet still can't see. Okay. Let's see. Who's next? Go up against him. Okay, we'll go with the uh, Kima Bay. Oh. Kima Kimi Bay. I think that's how I say your name. Okay, Shimada. Shimada. We'll go with him. Oh. I'm just gonna. Kambay. Kambay. <laughs> Sorry. Kambay. I'm trying my I best here. I need to know how to spell it. <laughs> okay. K A M B E I. K A M B I. E I. There's an E in his name. E I. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. Uh, let's see. You know he's going to kick his butt, right? Yeah. But it's fun to see how the fans vote. <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna go with Gori Bay, Goru Bay. Gorobe. Yeah. Ah, I got one right! Yay! <laughs> oh no, it's Gorbe. Gorbe. Like Gourmet. <laughs> I'm gonna Gorbe. And you know how to spell it. G O R O B E I. A C G R E no C G R O G. Show me a picture. 
this dude. Oh, Chiroji. I'll just put Roji. Roji, because <laughs> his name is long. <laughs> R O J I. R O J I. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna go with the last two that were mentioned in that oh, poll. Kachiro. Yep. That's K A T S U. Uh, there's no. Uh, We have trouble with the wipes here. We don't know why. We just do. They need better, like, wipes or something. We might just have to get them some some wipes in here and then just say, like, here, better. use the... Yeah, use, <laughs> use better wipes. Uh, K-A-T-S-U. And then Shiro. <laughs> And then last but certainly not least, this old guy. Oh, Barbe. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's going to kick Kachiro's butt. We'll see what the fans say. Barbe. Again, it's all about what you people want. <laughs> not us. <laughs> all right, he's got uh, MC Hammer. He does have MC Hammer pants on. <laughs> All right, so we got one side done. <sighs> All right. That's the Samurai 7 side. And I will put up the poll later on Anime and Emo. You guys can follow me at Otaku Girl on there. I wish we could put the description, you know, in our description about, you know, the Nemos that we're on and then as well as our own. But we would have to log in and then type in all of our info and then put it on there. But we're not going to do that. All right. So I picked the Warriors for the uh, Basilisk side. Yep. Um... As was just mentioned earlier, these guys are very versatile. Mm -hmm. They can use swords, um, anything. They're basically ninjas. So it's basically ninjas against samurais. That's not fair. Hey. If we wanted to do ninjas versus ninjas, we should have put them up against Naruto then. Oh, I didn't think about it. But still, <laughs> Basilisk would have won. Again, that's your opinion, not the fans' opinion. <sighs> anyway. Uh, Genosuke. Uh, he is going to be the first one, which was played by Troy, ba played by Troy Baker. You did a great job, dude. And then notice there's no comment over from the peanut gallery. What peanut? <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm not a peanut. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. So need to come in here as Ed one day for Full Metal Alchemist. And if you just call me any short derogatory names, I would just go off. <laughs> That'd be fun. Uh, let's see. Who's number eight? Uh, Nenki. The guy with the weird explosion for hair. <laughs> Could no, it be? That, that's his weapon. Is his hair? I'm surprised he's not related to Bakugo. Look at that hair. He his whole his whole body is covered with hair. Ew. In, in other words, he's like a um Bigfoot. He's a ninja Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot is a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> but they'd probably be able to hear him coming from a mile away. <laughs> okay. Well, he's not that tall, but... Does he have big feet? 
Okay. Hyoma <laughs> is next. That looks like Genosuke's older brother. Are they brothers? They have the same power. Oh. And the only reason why he ke he keeps his eyes closed is because mm -hmm. um he can't control the power like Genosuke can. But again, you didn't answer my question. Are they brothers? A mysterious ninja with great ability, despite of his eyes, eyes shut down, he could still make his opponents cower in fear. A master of uh, tactics and, and an able swordsman with great battle instinct. I would imagine that they are brothers. They look the same, kind of. Maybe. But... You can't really say because so far they haven't really said in the video, you know, in the move, in the show. They're related. So I would assume, but they don't have the same, uh, you know, same name. Okay. You mean last name? Yeah. You said Dave. I'm thinking like, of course they don't. <laughs> because Genosuke, his last name is Koga. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Koga clan. One of those. Oh, let's see. Uh, he, he's going up against the same, his own clansmen. Uh, let's put him up against Tenzin. Sounds like Tarzan. Tarzan, Tenzin. Okay. And Koshiro. Look like a ninja version of Daredevil. Well, he went up against, uh, in the show, he went up against, uh, uh, Genosuke, mm -hmm. and he tried to use his, uh, one of his, uh, tactics against him, and Genosuke... What, he gouged out his eyeballs? Uh, Genosuke made his own, uh, power work against him. Mm. So he lost his eyes. Wow. I mean, literally, his eyes are gone. When they do uh, evaporate? He... Huh? When they do evaporate? Float around uh, and get stomped on, pulled now out? No, they just burst. Oh, uh, okay. Ew! Yeah. Bursting eyeball guts and ooze. Uh, he's going to go up against Simon. Uh, Simon. Simon. It's Simon. <laughs> Trust me. No, the thing is, is that Simon can be spelled so many different ways. Oh, yeah. Simon. Simon's. And I'm trying Simon. to put, you know, I'm not trying to put the same pe uh, people against uh, the same people that they faced the before. Tribes. I'm trying to put Iga against Koga. Mm hmm. Like in the show. So, oh, him, yeah. This guy died early. Yashimaru? Yashimaru. Yay, yeah, got another one. Woohoo! Uh, he's a uh, twin brother of Koshimaru. Koshimaru. Mm. I shall avenge my brother. And he's going up against Yobu. The guy that's just all muscle? Actually, he can blend into anything. So In other words, 
He could blend into a wall, and you would not know he's there. So you're saying he's like a weird, ugly version of a chameleon? Pretty much. He could blend into wood. That's kind of and a neat power thing is, uh, thing is, he has to be... He has to be completely nude. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's the only downside about it. To be completely new in order to blend in. Alright, so each side has picked their warriors. And they will do battle with each other until two. Until we get to the middle. Yes. To the championship. Which will basically... Be a bit longer, because we won't have a show next and, week. Okay, so we have Kyozo, Q, Kyozo against Heihachi on the Samurai 7 side, along with Kikicho versus Kambe. I, pred I predict Kambe is going to win that one. Uh, Gorobe versus Roji. Wait a minute. You had Gorobe down twice. I do? Wait, it's Gorobe. What? Hold up. Okay, let me go to the history. De -de 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 -de. No way I have him down twice. I have it written down twice. You can't use the same character twice. Let me see that board. <laughs> Oh, crap, I did use it twice. Dang it. Okay, so, okay. Take Gorbe off of the last part, and I'll look for another one. <laughs> oh, wait, now I remember who we could put him up against. Rikachi. Remember we were going to put him in there? Oh, the pawn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, he's a farmer. No, not that. He's, uh... Uh, wait, no. Is, um... Is this certain voice actor against Vic? Oh, wait, yeah. Mm-hmm. JMT. Yeah. Yeah. We shall not mention him! <laughs> <laughs> I said the man's initials, not his full name. <laughs> oh my. So if you don't say right, the name, so we're fine. These are your warriors for the Samurai 7 on this side. Da da da. Isn't now, it lovely? For the Basilisk side, I have chosen Ginosuke versus Nenki. Kyoma versus Tenzin. Koshiro versus Sayamon. And Yashimaru versus Gyobu. And those are your warriors for the Basilisk side. So Who no will win? Who will be superior? Who will come out on top? In this battle of Samurais versus Ninjas. Who will come out on top? Versatile ninjas at that. Yes. So this poll will actually last longer than our previous ones that we have done for our Battle Royales. Normally our polls usually last for only seven days. So this one would probably last at least for 14. Oh yeah, we'll have a lot. Hopefully a lot of people will vote. Yeah. Um... I should probably take a picture of that before I leave and put it on my Twitter. Oh, yeah, and put the polls up, too, on your side, and I'll do it on mine. Yeah, because people usually don't vote on my Twitter. I don't think they'll vote on mine, but either way, it'll be up there. Yeah, or else I could, I could possibly put it up on Facebook, too. True. Yeah, either way. We're getting the word out, people. 
And as far as YouTube, if you guys are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get all the notifications if you aren't already. And hit that like button, share it, and leave us a comment. Mm -hmm. And if you have any suggestions for maybe up-and-coming Battle Royales you would like to see for us, to actually put our opinions and poll numbers out there. The only one we can't do is Dragon Ball Z. Sorry, that's the only one that's out. And that's because it's already been. It's ongoing out. and it's so played out. So sorry for all you DBZ fans out there. We can't do that one. So sorry. But any other any battle other royals? Anime? Yes. Yes, we are up for suggestions. Because whenever we try to come up with a new one, <laughs> it's hard. Uh, we've done heroes versus villains, male and female, both. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done bleach versus bleach. bleach versus black clover. Now that was a close one. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, we've done Gundams <laughs> versus other mechs. That was a good one. Yormingon that, versus that, that. That kind of like. Challenge. That challenged a lot of people. <laughs> no, that challenged Barry. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. He's like, um. he, he, every time, this guy named Barry, called himself Barry. He used to be on our show. He's mostly, I think he's mostly on D&D, &D, um, usually on Fridays. Um, chalking it up with all the other nerds. He would mostly, he would chalk, he was mostly a regular um, co-host on our show until you know he had he went on to bigger and better things but again we still give our props to barry barry the white wizard <laughs> so you know we got that all uh squared away and whatnot but either way he anyway. he was very torn during that battle royale he wasn't torn it's just i told him i said just you know Announce this. He's like, no, I have to read the entire name. <laughs> oh yeah, with that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. He literally read the back. whole name. He read the whole thing, and it was so funny. <laughs> if we could go back and bring it up, we I, would. I so would in a heartbeat. But we never, you know. But we we didn't save it or anything and we and really didn't start posting on youtube until maybe what after we graduated no before we graduated a like month later before we graduated yeah like literally a month before we graduated we started posting all of our shows if we would have known that sooner we would have had a lot more <laughs> but you know we were still young and naive then but now we're not <laughs> but Yeah, monetize online. And I was like, I could post my shows. We could post our shows on, you know, on YouTube. Same. And here we are. Yeah. Da -da -da. A month later. A month or so later. Still doing it. Mm-hmm. So far, we have, we have a couple of the subscribers building up. We're trying to at least reach 100. That's probably our We want to reach 100. That's our... So, if you got friends out there, and, and I know you do. And they love anime, love And manga, they like anime. And seeing two women goof off. Like we do. Then show them this channel. No, have them subscribe to the channel. Show them the channel. Then have them subscribe to said channel. And, and and to have them tell their friends that like anime and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that one one commercial, that shampoo commercial. Which shampoo commercial? Uh, it was, it was so a many. long, long, <laughs> uh, long, long time ago. So many commercials. Oh, shampoos. gosh. It was, it was a long, long time ago. 
you tell your friends about this shampoo and then they, they tell your their friends and then they tell their friends and they tell their friends. I was like, <sighs> when they get to the point. <laughs> anyway. If you have a lot of friends out there that love anime, point them to our direction. Mm -hmm. And if you knew a friend... Because we do not cover... We, we don't cover really... Uh, we really don't cover the Vic situation. We want to, but no, we No, it's not that. It, we just, you know, give you the bare basics when we need to. Mm-hmm. We don't, you know. We can't voice our opinion on it. Bear, you know, as much as we barrage want to. you with information, information day out, day in and day out with what's going on with the Vic situation. Mm -hmm. We don't. We we give you what is going on. Yeah. Plus in other words, the tsunami schedule. What's coming out on DVD or Blu-ray? Manga releases. Manga releases. And we do a Battle Royale. I mean, what more could you ask for? I'm sure there's probably other things you could ask for. But if you have other things you want, you know, like she, like Amy suggested, our reaction to, you know, DVD, new DVDs. And like as much as we. I want to see her reaction to Drifters. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably be shocked on what I watched. Or Gangsta. Yeah. I've currently watched that. I actually enjoy the series. I was shocked at some point, but yet I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed Gangsta. You watched Gangsta? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I Oh, it. and I'll have to get you to watch uh, Jormungan. Oh, yeah, I do have to watch that. But either way, like, you know, with the whole Vic situation, we, we want... To give our opinion, but our head honchos here in the studio won't let us. We want to, but we can't. As we have. We cannot be biased. We burn for it, but we have rules, and the people that are above us will be on our tails about it. So we have to keep our opinions to ourselves, even though it aches in our hearts to not say anything. Even though we all know that, you know, people in the news have their opinions and they do tell their opinion. Uh, but we can't. We can't. Uh, and also, in future videos, you will see this girl right here dressed in cosplay almost every week. I've been saying it before and I'll say it again. I'm actually going to show up to the show in full cosplay. And that'll be fun. Well, we both probably will, but but mostly mine me. will be. <laughs> It'll mostly be me. <laughs> mine will be more conservative, <laughs> I think. Well, mine will be. Mo mine's not gonna be like you know, it's not gonna be really all revealing. Like the only thing, like I've kind of already worked up on my cosplay already. I already have. An orange high school host school blazer and tie. I just need to get the rest of my items, and that's it. But I'm also working on being a female version of Todoroki, and being a female version of Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. So yep. <laughs> but mostly, I will be the one in cosplay, probably during every show. <laughs> um, I was going to be uh, Coco Hecma TR. From uh, Jormungan, but I couldn't find the costume again. I could find the wig, but just not find the, the costume. costume. Um, but I decided on being Yuki Cross after she turned was turned back into a vampire. For those of you who have not seen Vampire Night, or these basically Spoiler. Vampire Night. That is your spoiler. It is a very good series. Watch it. You will like Dick it. Manana plays Zero Kiryu. And his twin brother! <laughs> and also, um, besides that... Um, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another character that I've decided that I'm going to cosplay as is a female Vash 
the Stampede. For I those of you who <laughs> don't know the series, Try Gun. Go watch it. Isn't he the dude with the spiky hair? Yes, that's what that's why they call him Spiky. Uh, <laughs> spiky. I think you call him Spi uh, Spike. <laughs> spiky hair or Spiky hair man. <laughs> I forget what Wolf Lloyd calls him. Um, that's the reason why I suggested to her that when I go as um, um, when I go as uh, sorry, I paused for a minute. <laughs> there was something that flashed on my screen about Sony. Notifications. <laughs> um, I was. Uh, I suggested to her that she dress as Wolfwood and I go as Vash, which would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Now the only thing, you, <laughs> only thing is, you can't. Well, you probably could. Could what? Uh, take Wolfwood's big, humongous gun. The giant cross gun. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. All you need to do is get, you know. I probably just get uh, styrofoam. And styrofoam, just paint it. cut it in the shape of a cross, put paint on it, and then just make well, it no, look you, real. Well, no, you put um, you wrap it up. Mm -hmm. In what paper? Uh, probably butcher paper. And then you put um, uh, electric tape around it. Hmm. Okay. That's the cheap way of doing it. <laughs> I'm actually when you don't have any money, that's the cheap way of doing it. True. Now, I've actually thought of two other characters I could possibly go as. Now, they're both going to be, um, you know, another My Hero Academia character. Either a female version of Bakugo or Deku. What are you going to do? Have spike spiky blonde hair? I can find a wig for that. Well, I know you could. Yeah. I would actually be, it would be in his hero costume. Having those giant grenades in your hands. <laughs> that would be a rough one to do. Doesn't he have a... Um, doesn't he take those off after a while? In a, a couple of episodes? Yes, he does. Okay, well, you can go, yeah, go without them then. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, that would hard be getting around and with those big grenades on your arms. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> well, I would probably take them off and lug them with me. I'm not going to blow you up or nothing. Yeah, I like, <laughs> would probably take them off and go like, okay, I need to sit these right here. Boom, boom. Go like, do you wear those? And go like, duh. <laughs> But there's so many characters I would like to go as. Like, Winry would probably be another character I would go as um, from Full Mud Alchemist Brotherhood. I would have to figure out what other character I would want to go as. Um, oh, yeah. The other one. Oh, I forgot to mention that one. Uh, Dark Mousy from Dian Angel. I would do a female version of that. Even though... In the show, I know he only appears in men characters, but <laughs> I can change that. Now, if I had to go as, like, maybe, like, a smaller child character, I'd probably go as, like, Card Captor Sakura or something. Because she's, like, in, what, like, junior high or whatever. And plus, I'm short enough to be a child. <laughs> so, like... I'm tempted... <laughs> I'm tempted half tempted for us to dress up in as Sailor Moon characters. I would love to do that. I already said I'd be Chibi Usa even though it's all that darn pink but you know what? <laughs> I'd be worth it. The only it. one that I could prob uh, probably you know, do because she wore, <laughs> I think it was Mercury that wears flats. Yeah, Mercury wears flats. That's the only one I could pull off. Is Plus Sailor I look Mercury. good in red. Mercury's blue. Oh, blue. Sorry. Mars is red. <laughs> yeah, Venus is orange. Jupiter's green. Mars is red. 
Mercury's blue. Uh, do you not know your colors? <laughs> oh, it's been... You know how long it's been since I've watched Sailor Moon? A long time. <laughs> it's since Todd Tsunami was, in it. was first on. Wow. It's funny. I didn't when it was Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon. No, it was uh, Ronin Warriors, mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon, and Gundam Wing. That's a long time ago. <laughs> That was a long time ago. That's when they had Midnight Run. For those of you who remember that. Mm -hmm. And Todd Hapricorn was actually in Sailor Moon as well. He lended his acting chops to, I think it was Jadeite, I think. It was one of those villains that was when? in the first season. In Sailor Moon, like the first what? season of Sailor Moon. Where Usaki first gets her powers and everything, and um, before they introduce... Um, that long ago? Yeah, that long ago. My son was still a kid. Yep. Good grief, I didn't know Todd was that old. <laughs> <laughs> the man's got a beard! <laughs> he grew a beard. He grew a beard! He, he grew up <laughs> just like that. <laughs> He's just been baby face smooth for who knows how long, and then he decided to let his manliness come out. <laughs> he, the man has a beard. <laughs> We're all happy. <laughs> I'm a man now. <laughs> We're still a very Natsu. I, and I have a beard, so therefore I am a man. No, he's still Natsu in Italia and Death the Kid and <coughs> all those other people that he's voiced. Including Sergeant Frog. <laughs> Actually, Vic also plays Sergeant Frog. <laughs> Believe weird. it or not. <laughs> uh. Funny that both Vic and Todd Hapricorn have voiced the same character. <laughs> funny. That is funny. And it wouldn't be the first anime that they have voice acted together in. They've been in Oran High School Host Club. That the free um, anime series involving guys and on the swim team, um, Vic voices Rin, and then Todd voices Haru from Free. What other anime? Fullman Alchemist Full Brotherhood. Fullman Alchemist Brotherhood. Yep, that's another one. That was actually the fir first time I, I act actually know, you know who Vic Todd, and Todd Abercorn was. is. Oh no, I was a fan of Vix uh, so when he was with ADV. And we just uh, talked about this in the car. <laughs> I, yeah, a long time ago. That's a long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, when I first watched Sayuki. If y'all don't know what that show is. Do your research. G uh, go watch it. Amy, you still good there? Show. <laughs> um, but Vic played Kugaji. He's supposed to be the villain. He's the reluctant bad guy. He's the reluctant bad guy. Because he has to do somebody else's bit bidding so he can get his mother released. So in other words, his mom is being held captive but while he goes and does what he does. Wow. That's crazy. He doesn't want to do it, but he has but to he do has it for to. her. Yeah. Because if he doesn't, then, his, then uh, that woman's going to kill his mom. Mm. Which she's probably going to do anyway. Mm -hmm. Because in Say Sayuki Season 4, which... Please do more seasons. They're only halfway there. Mm -hmm. oh, this is getting... Frustrating. Frustrating. Yep. Todd Hapricorn is 37 and he finally grew a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I am a man. Whoa. I have that's a, a beard. Dark, that's a dark look on that man's face. Plus, he's been in a lot. 
Let's see. All right, so. We don't have time for that because it's 4.59. Aw, that stinks. Well, I'm just going to look through all his credentials real quick. But either way, <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for thank, thank watching. You. Thank you so much. Yes, definitely. Um, Amy Juby, thank you for all your comments. And, and plus, we're going to upload this on YouTube. Uh, it's Apocalypse uh, Otaku. Look for the orange hazard sign. And if you guys haven't noticed that in the intro, that was probably... I tried to make the logo bright at the end of the intro, but the thing is the photo back there just made it look weird looking. But either way, I think it looks awesome. But either way, look for the bright logo that has the hazard sign on it. That is our YouTube page. We'll have more manga releases, more DVDs, more tsunami uh, schedules. Put the, uh, um, what? The link to our YouTube channel. Right. Yeah. Here, let's go ahead and do that. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. Yes, I am definitely singing a Egyptian theme song, but whatever, cause it's fun. For some reason, I can't spell, but whatever. I shall try my best. And there we are. Holy crap! That's so weird. Somebody else has signed in? Oh, wait, no. No, it's saying first it showed 10, and then <laughs> it went up to 13. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> and there you go. And there you go. We're going to upload this show here in just a moment. Otherwise, folks, have a good night. And, and watch anime until you die. And one more thing before we go off. This coming Tuesday, we will be at Level 1 Game Bar playing some anime trivia. So, if you're there, say hi and make sure you subscribe because... We enjoy all of our fellow weebs and otakus out there in the world. But as Char said, we will see you guys not next week, but the week after. We will put up the polls to our Samurai versus Basculus Battle Royale as soon as we're done off of here. And again, we love you, otakus. Watch anime until you die. And that's in order. Bye. Have a good night.